Kate Rubens grew up in California. She was the oldest of three children, and it didn't take her long to find her place in the family. Growing up, she was she was always in charge of the games that we played as kids. She, um, at one point, had a club that she was the president of, of course, and Dan and I got to be the members, and we got to pay her dues, and we got to do whatever it was that she wanted us to do. Kate says now that she looks back, something really amazing happened during her visit to camp. To her, it seemed to be her official launching point. This is what she was meant to do with her life. When I was there, I just remember this, this uh, sense of a whole world opening up to me that I had always said, hey, I want to be an astronaut, I want to be involved in science, I want to do this, I want to do that, but I didn't really know what the tasks were. What would you do as an astronaut? What would your training be like? What would your daily life be like? And so it was fascinating to go through the experience. After high school, Kate moved on to college. She attended the University of California, and then her journey took her to Stanford University, where she met and worked for Dr. David Relman. It didn't take him long to discover what Kate already knew. Science was for her. Kate Rubens was an amazing student. She was one of the most driven, motivated, excited persons uh, I've had the pleasure of teaching. She, um, she relished challenges, big challenges, both intellectual but also logistical and physical. Um, for her, science was um, as much a um, you know, a, a contact sport as it was an intellectual um, endeavor. At 27, she began her own lab studying deadly viruses like Ebola. NASA selected Rubens in July 2009 as one of 14 members of NASA Astronaut Group 20. She graduated from NASA candidate training. Then came the call. You're headed to the International Space Station. Another dream of hers. Kate's planned expedition in 2016, a medical mission to the International Space Station to continue her goals, her dreams, her research in hopes of making the world a better place for us all. And even though her thoughts are more than 200 miles above, traveling at 17,000 miles per hour, she still has time to share encouragement to young people here on the ground. Everybody says, you know, follow your dreams, follow your passions, and that's great advice, but it's fairly generic advice. Um, my advice to them would be, do something that when you wake up in the morning, you don't even feel like it's work, that you feel almost compelled to do it. And about her induction into the Space Camp Hall of Fame? Of course. Of course she is. Of course she's going to be inducted into the Space Camp Hall of Fame. I mean, she just follows a really natural trajectory for her life. That leads us to their heartfelt words of encouragement and congratulations. Kate, I couldn't be more happy for you. Incredibly proud. Not too surprised, but it's still just unbelievably amazing. Kate, I love you so much. Congratulations on this honor. This is wonderful for you. Um, and thank you because my raging inferiority complex rages on. NASA astronaut, Space Camp alum, and our newest inductee into the Space Camp Hall of Fame.